Great. We'll open it up for uh, CJ. We got uh, Cameron Teague Robinson, the athletic. Over C here to the right, CJ. CJ, that oh, Sorry. Oh, that that first half, it just looked like you were able to distribute the ball all over the field to whether it was Cade, Ameka, Julian, Marvin. Just when you, what's that like as a quarterback when you know? I mean, wherever you look, you have somebody who's likely going to be open. It's going to it's going to bring down the ball for you. Right. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all glory and praise to God, uh, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Just be able to be at this school, this great university, play with these great teammates. But uh, like you said, yeah, I think in the first half we distributed the ball pretty well, um, had some uh, good momentum coming out quick. Uh, that's something that we definitely want to do, and I, I think we built those chemistry. I mean, that chemistry with uh, Cade, Ameka, and Marvin, and. Uh, really, everybody who touched the ball did a great job, um, but we built that chemistry in the offseason, so being able to do that, and it, we even had some adversity in the in the first half too, kind of slowing down a little bit. Should have scored on that uh, that last, the second to last drive, maybe even the last drive. Uh, but I mean, at the end of the day, I think that we bounced back from that, and it's good to get some of that early on in conference play, so we can have that feeling of coming back uh, even with adversity. So, over to the left, Pat Murphy, 24/7 Sports. CJ, what's it like to have two running backs? that can put up numbers the way that, that Mayan and Trey have? And, and how does, if any way, does that change when one's in the game for you than the other? Right. Um, I mean, both of them have been great. I mean, not only just running the ball, but pass protection as well. So they spent a lot of time on that. But at the same time, I mean, as y'all can tell, they're, they're towing the rock really well. But it starts up front. I mean, I always preach to my old lineman, y'all the best players on this team. We don't move if y'all don't move. Or we don't, we're not great if y'all aren't great. So uh, I definitely think that they take that to heart every week. And this is a big time challenge for us, knowing that Wisconsin was big and physical and they wanted to, uh, they said we couldn't run the ball, whatever the case may be, or they were going to stop the run, whatever the case may be. Um, and they were a good team, but I feel like that was a challenge to us and we wanted to step up to that. So uh, mine and Trey were great, but I definitely think it starts with the whole line and tight ends blocking the front. Even the receivers did a great job blocking today. Over to the right, uh, CJ Austin Ward, Rivals, 97.1, the fan. CJ, I could tell you weren't uh, thrilled with my question. You might have missed my sarcasm. Your standard is so high that even if you miss a couple of throws, that it seems like that's your, your off night. Do you, when you leave, will you think about the five touchdowns or a couple more that you maybe could have hit? Uh, a little bit of both. I mean, uh, working these plays, I mean, we work them so hard that you have to enjoy uh, the win at the same time. But at the, like you said, I mean, uh, could always be better. I'm never going to play perfect. So <laughs> you can't get that in your head right now. Uh, <laughs> never going to play perfect. So. Um, that interception, I, I'll tell you, I heard Coach Day, it was my fault. I got to make the throw. Uh, they were in cloud coverage. I just, I tried to anticipate it early on. Uh, tried to throw it before he broke, but I probably should have waited until he broke a little bit. I thought he was going to go at a higher angle, but uh, Marvin did a great job with that route. I just got to make the throw better. So, um, and then I kind of, I just kind of got irritated after that. And I got to get on my own head. So, um, but I mean, I think that's a good thing. And then we fought back. I think that's the most important thing. So, uh, I'm never going to play perfect, never, never going to be perfect in life. And, and, in football or off the field. So uh, I'm not really worried about your question. It's cool. I just, I like, I like messing with you. Yeah, I guess. I mean, shoot, numbers are all right. <laughs> okay, we'll go over to the deep left. Uh, CJ, Doug Lamarice, Cleveland.com. CJ, you guys came out in the first drive and hit a couple big pass plays right off the bat, being spread out. And it felt like that maybe opened up the run then, that you had them spread out with the formations, and then you ran on them. Can you just talk about that kind of balance to spread out a defense, and then maybe they're in conflict of they don't know whether to try to stop the run or the pass, and you guys are doing both. Yeah, I mean, that's something that we definitely, uh, I think it goes back to the offseason of uh, dealing with Coach Mick, of being very being very balanced, um, being able to run the ball and throw the ball. And I think um, we're over like 250 in both, uh, both aspects. So, I mean, when you can do that, man, it's amazing. Uh, it makes my job easier as well. So. I know last year we, we relied on drawback pass so much, and uh, we did a great job at it. But now this year it just makes it more comfortable. Um, I honestly got to be better with, with just handing the ball off and being more disciplined um, and, and not kind of getting bored. Uh, so at the end of the day, we run the ball very well, but I got to be able to stay warm and stay engaged. So I'm not saying that I didn't do that. I, I can always be better. So I definitely think if we keep both aspects going rolling, um, rolling well, then I think we'll, we'll be one of the best offices in the country. Over here to the right, Tim May on 3.com. Yeah, CJ, uh, Cade Stover, who knew, right? I mean, well, you knew. But uh, y'all splitting him out and stuff. Got got some real good mismatches there, it looked like, and stuff. And what has he just brought to the to the program, I mean, here the last couple of weeks, but especially tonight? I mean, yeah, they didn't uh, seem to know how to handle it. Yeah, I mean, Cade is a, definitely a Swiss Army knife. He can run. He can block. 
Uh, he can do really anything. So um, it's just amazing to see his work kind of pay off. And, man, he's one of the first people that took me under his wing when I first got to school. So uh, he's, a, he's a great – he's a better person than he is a football player. So, I mean, I'm really proud of him. And I owed him for last week. Uh, I missed one on one today. That was uh, kind of irritating. But, I mean, he got two. So, uh, but we can always be better. Uh, he actually blamed himself on that, but I'm going to take the blame. Uh, so, at the end of the day, I mean, we can always be better. And I think Cade is going to continue to be great. I'm super excited for him, super happy for him. Uh, we've got time for a couple more for CJ over here to the left. Bill Bender, the sporting news. Uh, CJ, I think uh, 10 of your first 15 plays went for 10 yards or more. Um, you guys were really in a rhythm with that. How much of that was the script or how much was execution? And um, you, when you guys are in a groove like that, I mean, what's it like in the huddle? Or not in the huddle, just in general for you when you uh, get going like that? Right. Um, I definitely think it's a mixture of everything. Uh, I mean, it starts in practice. Um, I mean, practicing so hard. I mean, we practiced so hard on Tuesday and, and Wednesday and then clean it up on Thursday. So, uh, well, you can put two great days in. I think that's definitely where it starts. But to make sure everything, I mean, Coach Day did a great job with play calling with Coach Wilson. Um, and then, I mean, like, it's our job to execute. And so, I mean, everybody was yelling, who were on all black game. But I think my job was just to uh, lead the offense and tell them we just need to execute. Everybody calm down, let's execute and, and uh, just try to have fun. So I definitely think we did that. And uh, we'll continue to build. So, I mean, if, if we can, like, uh, keep the running and pass game so clean, and I think definitely the play call will be easier for Coach Day. Execution will be easier for us. And final question uh, right here, front row, uh, Stephen Means, Cleveland.com. Yeah, you sound funny, bro. No, nah, no. All right. No more questions. All right. Four weeks into this, and I know you're not going to say you played perfect and whatnot, but four weeks into your second year as a starting quarterback, just how do you feel like you're playing so far? Um, I mean, I don't really think that's my place to judge. Uh of course, I mean, I'm going to go listen to the coaches and what Coach Day, uh, Coach Dennis, Coach Fish got to say, Coach Key, uh, see what their feedback is. And, uh, I mean, I don't really – I think it's something that we do great at Ohio State. We don't look back. I mean, after our Sunday practice, it's like it is what it is. So, I mean, wherever I'm playing, um, we're winning. I don't really care. Like I said, early on in the season, as long as we win, I'm cool. And I think uh, the numbers show – I mean, the numbers prove it for themselves. I mean, um, I think that – but it's not just me, you know what I mean, that – it's, it's a, a combination of my linemen, my tight ends, my running backs, my receivers. I mean, our special teams, our defense, a little bit of everything, just the hard work kind of paying off. So, I mean, if people think I'm playing good, cool. If they don't, cool. They hate it anyway. So, I mean, I'm blessed from God to be in this position. So, great. CJ, thank you very thank much. Thank you.